Requirements Lifecycle Management is the knowledge area that describes the tasks that a business analyst performs to manage and maintain requirements right from initiation to the final implementation. The process includes monitoring, planning, analyzing, managing, and communicating organizational requirements. So, it's clear that managing the lifecycle requirements can have a deciding impact on the outcome of the project. Managing requirements lifecycle requires a business analyst to manage and maintain requirements while identifying relationships with designs, assessing changes, and helping each consensus on those changes. Welcome to Simply Learn. Today, we will discuss Requirements Lifecycle Management Tutorial, your gateway to mastering the art of orchestrating, optimizing, and breathing life into critical heartbeat of any project requirements. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified. And if you are a professional with minimum one year of experience, and an aspiring business analyst looking for online training and certifications from the prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in business analysis from Purdue University, in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, should be your right choice. For more details, use we will get started by understanding what exactly is requirements lifecycle management, and followed by that, we will go through the different stages of requirement lifecycle management. And then we will understand each and every stage in a bit more detail. Start off by understanding trace requirements, then maintain requirements, followed by that prioritize requirements, and next assess requirements changes, and lastly approve requirements. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's get started with the first topic. What is requirements lifecycle management? The answer for this question is the process of monitoring, planning, analyzing, managing, and communicating organizational requirements is called requirements lifecycle management. It's clear that managing the life cycle of requirements can have a deciding impact on the outcome of the project. Managing requirements life cycle requires a business analyst to manage and maintain requirements while identifying relationships with designs, assessing changes, and helping reach consensus on those changes. Now, let's proceed with the stages of requirements life cycle management. So requirements life cycle management has five different stages. First, you will get to trace the requirements. Then you maintain the requirements. Proceeding ahead, you have the prioritization of requirements. Next, you have assessing of requirements and the changes required. And lastly, approve the changes. Now, let's understand each one of them in detail. Firstly, trace requirements. Tracing requirements involves analysis and maintaining relationships between requirements, designs, and solutions which should provide the basis for impact analysis, allegation, and coverage. The life cycle of every requirement needs to be identified and recorded in a way that ensures backward and forwards traceability. Through traceability, the business analyst can ensure that the solution is aligned to the requirement and manage the scope, timeline, risks, and potential costs. It's also helpful for discovering requirement inconsistencies and flaws and provide a better understanding of the change. Tracing enables the analyst to assess at any given moment if certain requirements have been addressed or not. The elements of requirements tracing are level of formality, relationships, traceability repository. The main guidelines and tools used for tracing the requirements are domain knowledge, information management approach, legal or regulatory information, and requirements management tools or repositories. The techniques that the business analyst will most likely use are business rules analysis, functional decomposition, process modeling, and scope modeling. With this, let's proceed to the next stage, which is about maintaining requirements. Maintaining requirements is necessary for keeping the requirements and designs accurate and current throughout the cycle. It also enables their reuse if needed. Maintenance of requirements is crucial for preserving their validity through a process, especially since it represents a certain organizational need to maximize the benefits from maintaining requirements. The business analyst must make sure that the requirements are consistently represented, approved, and reviewed using standard procedures and easy to access to understand. Now, the main elements of requirements maintenance are maintaining requirements, maintaining attributes, reusing requirements. Now, while maintaining requirements, the business analysts commonly use information management approach as a useful guideline or tool. Besides this, there are several helpful business analyst techniques, business rule analysis, data flow diagrams, data modeling, document analysis, functional decomposition, process modeling, use cases and scenarios, and user stories. 
Now proceeding ahead, we have prioritized requirements. Prioritizing requirements or ranking them in order of importance helps business analysts access the value, risk and urgency related to the certain requirement and designs. This ensures that the most important requirements and designs are always at the top of the queue for analysis. The relevance of the requirements to their stakeholders plays the most important part of the ranking and according to this, the requirement can be prioritized to a greater or lesser extent. The task of prioritizing requirements has three key elements, which are basis of prioritization, challenges of prioritization, and continual prioritization. There are also some useful business analysis techniques for this process, such as backlog management, business cases, decision analysis, estimation, financial analysis, interviews, item tracking, prioritization, risk analysis and management, workshops, etc. Now proceeding further, we will understand the next stage, that is, assess requirements. When assessing requirements change, the business analysts evaluate every existing and potential new stakeholder requirement and design so they can make an informed decision whenever an action on those requirements is required. Every change to the requirements and designs has its implications and analysts assess those changes to estimate the impact of those changes on the project. This task need to be performed every time a new need arises or the possible solution is proposed. Now, there are three main elements of task of assessing requirements changes are assessment formality, impact analysis, impact resolution. Also, there are some key business techniques used for this particular step, which are business cases, business rules analysis, decision analysis, requirement analysis, estimation, financial analysis, interface analysis, interviews, item tracking, risk analysis and management, and lastly, workshops. Proceeding further, the last stage, which is approved requirements. During the approving of the requirements, the business analysts work closely with the stakeholders with the role in the governance process to approve and agree on certain requirements and designs. Reaching the agreement and obtaining approval is crucial for the continuation of the business analysis process. The key elements of the requirements approval task, standing stakeholders' roles, conflict and issue management, gaining consensus, and lastly, tracking and communicating the approval. Some business analysis techniques that will be most likely used in this particular segment are acceptance and evaluation criteria, decision analysis, item tracking, reviews, and workshops. And with that, we have reached to the last stage of requirement management. But before we end the session, let's hear from our learners about their personal experience and their success stories after getting graduated from the business analytics postgraduate program offered by Simply Learn. Hi, I'm Gordana Rujic. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina and working as a business analyst at Revature. This is my second job since I completed the postgraduate program in business analytics by Simple Learn with Purdue University. My experience with Simple Learn was great. The live classes were my favorite because they were very interactive and I could connect with the instructor. I have many small gaps and short employments in my career. I even have a huge two-year career gap due to some health issues. However, I think the dark times are now behind me. It doesn't matter how challenging the path may be. Keep upscaling and one day you will achieve success. Feeling inspired already? Consider checking the business analysis postgraduate program offered by Simply Learn from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. For more details, check out the link in the description box below. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on requirements management lifecycle. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources used in this session, then please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.